welcome to Always Alyssa. Hey guys, welcome back to Always Alyssa. I hope you're having an amazing day so far. Thank you for clicking on this video. I'm super excited. As you can see, I am at my art desk right now, which means today's video has to do with art. If you've been keeping up with my channel recently, then you have probably seen the video where I tested cheap versus expensive art supplies. That one was super fun. And in that video, I tested cheap colored pencils and expensive colored pencils. And the end result was pretty cool. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a part two of that video, but instead of testing colored pencils, I'm gonna be doing watercolors. I'm super excited for this because watercolors are very, very different than colored pencils. First of all, they are paint, and painting is a lot different than just drawing with colored pencils. So I think this is gonna be super exciting. I have a lot of different watercolors to choose from back here. Since I am going to be testing cheap versus expensive, I'm gonna have to pick the most expensive out of all these and the cheapest, which is probably gonna be this one <laughs> or maybe this one. Right now, I'm gonna be Googling the prices of these just to make sure I can get the two most opposite watercolors for my video today. All right, I officially have here my cheapest watercolor set at around one to two dollars. I mean, just look at that. First of all, it is like so completely trashed, but also listen to how cheap that is. Like just literal plastic, but bad plastic. And then I have my most expensive watercolor set, much nicer, look at this nice container. Let me open it up so you guys can get a better look. How nice that is. I really love this one. This one is around $40 to $50, so a lot more expensive. That wasn't supposed to happen. Now it's time to test cheap versus expensive watercolors. I've got my desk all set up now with the cheap watercolors, the expensive watercolors. Of course, gotta have some water. My sketchbook, some tape, of course, so I could separate the two sides of watercolors. And you might have noticed this cute little cheetah. I decided to do this for my reference picture. And you might be wondering, well, there's only like two colors on this animal. So how am I going to be able to show off all the colors? And that's why I decided I'm kind of going to do it a little bit of a Lisa Frank style where it's like super colorful. And I use almost every single color in the palette. I thought that was a really good idea, not only because I love color and rainbows, but also because it'll really help show off the color and the quality of the two watercolor palettes that I'm using. Time to start sketching out the cheetah. I have finished my sketch of the cheetah and now I'm going to find a middle point and put tape so I can begin to paint. Now I'm going to label my sides of the paper. This will be the expensive side and this will be the cheap side. Oh man, guys, I have to admit this is looking really bad and I'm not excited to use it. Like this is gonna be really interesting, but I guess we'll see how it goes. Here's how it's looking so far. It's looking interesting. I mean, not the best, but also not the worst. I mean, there's a couple things that I've definitely been noticing, like it's definitely bleeding a little bit more than the expensive watercolors probably would. But anyways, I wanted to talk about this right here and how to do it. In case you're wondering, it's just a simple little blowing technique that I like to use sometimes. So basically what I do is get a lot of water on the brush, which by the way, you don't usually do. For all this, I just did not that much water. But for this, it's a lot of water. So it's different. Got a bunch of water, a bunch of paint. Just see how full that brush is right there. And you put it right here. Just kind of like dab it in at the top. Oh, and just keep layering it up until you can tell there's a lot. And then once you're ready, you'll either tilt it down or blow it down. Like that, and you can create a couple cool little paths. I 
just finished with the cheap side of this art piece and I did notice a couple of things. Well, first of all, this isn't fully dry, so I'm not gonna touch it. But like I mentioned earlier, there was definitely a little bit of bleeding on these parts of the spots. See, the spots are really like bad right there because they totally bled into each other. And at the beginning, it was actually really hard to get most of the colors out, especially the green and these two blues. I don't know why, but no matter how much water I would put, I would just never get any color out. But some of the other colors were a lot better for that. So I was able to get some good like purple and like orange and yellow type colors. The yellow actually was pretty good. Just most of the colors on this palette were pretty dim. Although the brown down here actually wasn't too bad. It was a pretty decent color and it was dark enough to make spots. While I was painting, I could definitely tell that the quality of these was a lot cheaper and you can kind of see when you look closely, it does look a lot more splotchy. So that's one way you can tell it's a lot cheaper. I'm going to take the tape off now. Then I can get ready to do the expensive side. Time to put the tape on. Now this is fully dry. And then I'm going to do the expensive side. I'm really excited for this side and I think it's gonna turn out pretty good. I just pretty much finished up. All I have to do is take the tape off. I think I might fix a couple of things, but for now I am just dying to take this tape off. So I'm gonna do it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, that looks so cool. Wow, I really like that. I think that looks super amazing. I think I'm just gonna really quickly though fix that little spot and maybe something up here but other than that it's gonna be finished it's the next day and i have now officially finished this art piece but before i say anything i do want to say don't mind my hair i had to just put it up really fast so i know it doesn't look the best anyways about the art i do have to say overall the finished product i do think it looks really pretty i absolutely love all the colors because knowing me i love colors i mean look at my walls they're literally pink anyways let's talk about the quality of the two different watercolors I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of a better look here. As you can see, if you look really closely at the right side of the cheetah, which is the cheap side, not only is the color more dull, but it also appears to be a little bit more splotchy and the colors did not blend as well with each other. Whereas on the expensive side, all the colors blended super nice together, especially the blue fading to the green and then the yellow. That part is my favorite. It looks super pretty. I just love those colors and it looks really smooth too. But like overall, I do think it looks really good. And if you did just have some cheap watercolors and you didn't have any expensive ones, that is okay because you can still create a pretty cool art piece like I did here. Like if you just saw this half of the art piece, like it's still kind of cool. And also one thing that I did actually like about the cheap watercolors is that when you look close, since it didn't really blend as smoothly, it almost looks a little bit more realistic. Maybe like a bit of a fur texture or just because the colors are more dull, so that makes it look more realistic, I think. So if you're trying to go for a look that's a little bit more vibrant, pretty, and it blends really well, I would definitely go with some expensive watercolors, but if you're okay with it looking a little less well blended and maybe a little bit splotchy, but it also could look a bit more realistic just because the colors are a bit more dull, then you could use some cheap ones and that's okay. 
but also not all cheap watercolors are gonna look exactly like this. Like there's gonna be different colors in the palette and they also could be a little bit better or even a little bit worse quality than these. Same thing goes for expensive though. There could be better ones than this quality or even worse ones that still cost a lot. And one more thing I do have to say to both of these, like I think they both look good, but this one actually looks a lot better, at least in my opinion. Like I do like all of these because the colors blended really nicely up here, but at least on this side, like for the ones on the paws, I do think those ones look really good. For some reason, they're a little bit thinner. I don't know why that happened, but these ones are just thicker. I don't know why, but I kind of like this side better for that. Overall, I really do love this art piece. I just absolutely love the color so much. And I like that I chose a cheetah as the animal because then I could put a bunch of spots as other colors and I thought that was really fun to do. I might have to paint another cheetah in pretty colors like this because it was a lot of fun, I'll admit. Make sure you guys comment in the comment section what you thought was the best part of this video. If you liked the expensive side better or if you liked the cheap side better. I mean, I kind of like both, I have to admit. But I want to hear your opinion down in the comments and make sure to give me a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!